so you said you you went from you know kind of uh on mass to these other arenas what what kind of other arenas are you talking about local civic groups or business like commercial uh, uh, yeah, businesses civic groups and then i you know then i got invited to you know to be on some local radio stations interviewed okay. with the local newspapers um yeah, I was interviewed several times by our local, some of our local um, news outlets. And, um, and then, you know, even TV 20 would come down um, out of Gainesville and mm -hmm. um, they started keeping up with us, like, you know, That's during awesome. the holidays or whatever. That's great so, exposure. And, and, you know, the, um, the local newspapers here just really wrap their arms around us and, um, and, and really, you know, any, anything that I wanted to get out there, they would help me get out there. Yeah, but, that's amazing. So it was, you know, it's it's been a it's been a fun run. But yeah, you know, that, that's yeah. Go ahead. We also, though, a lot, what people don't realize is we also are in um, the business of competition, which I hate to use that word in nonprofits because in, in mm -hmm. Marion County, anyway, we're all friends. We all support each other. We donate mm -hmm. to each other's charities. If I have something that can bless another charity, we give it, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Um, but the reality is we are all competing for the same dollars. That's competing, right. You know, because so, again, that, that's the um, going back to tapping into what matters to people. Mm -hmm. If I know there's a local business that's already um, supporting the Humane Society and I know mm -hmm. I know that's what matters to them. Yeah. I, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to you know, spend my time going after somebody who I know that their their passion is animals. When, right. You know, so, you know, it's paying attention to those kind of things too, not just going so, after everybody because they're there. Yeah. And it's good to be aware of that because, you know, it's true. It's a, it's a marketplace and, you know, you have to, to be, to acknowledge that. I'm curious though, it makes me think, have you ever gotten together in the same room, like around the table with these other organizations and had sort of like a consortium of sorts where, um, you know, you just have these conversations transparently and say, you know, not that you would necessarily say, Hey, we're all competing for the same dollar, but, but how can we align ourselves um, to more benefit each other? Have you ever done that? Or is that kind of faux pas? Actually, we have a local nonprofit business council that pulls us okay. together and we have those conversations frequently. Um, That's awesome. And, and so like I said, it's, we, we talk about ethics. We talk about, you know, um, yeah you know, not stepping on each other's toes when somebody spent a lot of time establishing a relationship with a donor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just kind of out of, out of, um, yep. Respect. Mm -hmm. we don't, we don't go after them. And, and I'll, I've even had people call me when they know one of my donors has approached them mm -hmm. and say, I just want you to know they approached us. I don't, you know, I hope it's, I'm like, that's you know, amazing. Absolutely. So it's, um, it's a great relationship. We're, yeah, we're very fortunate, um, to have our nonprofit business council here in Marion County, the way, the way that we work together. Yeah. support each other 